Holy crap, this is so gorgeous. Hey guys, this is Kimberly, and the angle is a little bit weird because this is angled at my desk, and I'm about to do an unboxing video of my sample decks. I have never seen them. I've seen them through pictures, but I have never touched them. This is a new deck that I accidentally completed. As usual, I'm always accidentally completing things, and I'm just like, <sighs> when I got a notification that DHO was out, I was literally so anxious, so excited. Okay, so this is the package. Oh, okay, I don't think my address is on. No, it's not. Okay, you can't you can't tell where I live, so you can't dox me. Okay, so this is what I'm unboxing, and I'm so excited and like. Ah, let's go! Oh my god. Okay, so while I'm unboxing this, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna tell you about this deck. This deck I created uh, two months ago. I I this I kind of got the random idea because I was writing some affirmations for full moon in cancer or new moon in cancer i forgot and then it was just very relevant to some of the things i was releasing when it comes to trust and relationships and self-love and i wrote a couple affirmations and someone commented hey kim you should totally like write this or make a deck out of your affirmations because they're so intuitive and i just instantly got the idea i was like you know what like i kind of been toying with the idea of wanting to make an affirmation deck I sort of got the idea i was like now is a great time because i just went through the dark night of the soul i wrote so many affirmations for myself during the period and I think this is a great time to channel everything that I've written for myself and make it into a deck. And I also wanted to test out new printing technology such as like holographic silver foil and like foil printing and layering and things like that. And I also really wanted- oh my god, I see them now. Guys, do you see it? <gasps> oh my god! And I also really wanted to experiment with like a mono color deck that's all pastels because you've seen those cute pink like you know, background text space decks out there. I just think they're so cute, but I just never really resonated with any of the affirmations. I mean, I do, but it's just not. Okay, I'm not on a holistic level. I just want to write affirmations for myself. Okay, anyway, like I'm babbling. This is, these are my sample decks. Oh my God. They are like three of the same thing, but each of them has some different properties. So I don't know which one are which. Oh, okay, so it's labeled. Holy crap, this is so gorgeous. So it's called Align Heart Affirmations Oracle. And I hired a an artist to design these uh, doodles, vector art for me. Um, I experimented with different holographic foils with each one, and um, one of them doesn't have any foil on the front, so they have some different varying properties. So let's just like open them like one by one. This is the same size as my Way of the Panda um, Baby Panda edition, so it's like a pocket size deck. It's really tiny. The idea is like I just really ah! oh shit, <laughs> I just really want to be able to carry it with me in my purse because you know. I just want these comforting words with me at all times. So all this is holographic silver foil. Oh my god. Okay, let's look at the inside. <gasps> of course, you're gonna see Fables the panda, and then you're gonna see like a little blur. Oh my god, I cannot even. Okay, so this is the first time I ex I'm experimenting with um, a different type of print, a uh, different type of cardstock. Uh, I usually go with matte lamination because it really it has a silky, smooth, pearlescent look, and it feels really luxurious. But because I want to experiment with foil, I needed to go with um, matte UV coating or matte UV lamination. So this is the inside. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. So there's 77, 77 cards in there. Wow, this is even better than I imagined. So that's the back or inside of the deck. It says, are you scared to say goodbye to your caterpillar soul? So this is kind of like a shout out to your becoming. This is also like a song I wrote inspired by me falling in love truly for the very first time. <laughs> my boyfriend is awesome. I'm just saying shout out to my boyfriend <laughs> for loving me because he's amazing. This is the back. Also silver graphic, a uh, silver graphic silver holographic foil. Look at this. Look at that shine. Oh, it looks so pristine. And then that's the holographic silver edge. Holy crap. So look at these cars. This is the categories. Oh, you can see it. It's like, you can see the glistening there. And then this is kind of like a little sort of intro info card. So it's very minimalistic looking. Um, it's just like all pastels. Oh my God, these pastels look so much better in my hands. So none of the designs are final, right? This is, I mean, the deck itself is pretty much done, but the, the foil overlay, I'm still kind of playing with them, hence the simple deck. So none of this is like final, final. Um, I, I was just experimenting with different foil designs. So this one doesn't have any. 
it says you're enough and it has like a jar of hearts with like an eye on it um this is one of the patterns i was experimenting i really love this one because i was really worried that you're not going to be able to read the text on there but you can still clearly see the white text and you can also see the heart here i was gonna have a thing where like there's a heart and you could sort of symbolically place your finger there to charge the energy from the deck or just channel all the love from the deck and download that message so it'd be like a really nice cute like ritual thing i can include this is a different design it has like smaller hearts on top but not a big heart at the bottom so i don't know which one i like better am i very or not so this one is just like sparkles here and there you can kind of see you know, it's like gloss. I kind of like this. Like this is like simple but effective. So this is kind of like a cloud on top. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about this one. I kind of like it at the bottom. This one feels more like clouds. So this category, this peachy color, is quick reminders, right? This is kind of just to snap you out of your rumination or like um, anxiety, downward spiral, and things like that. This is just a lot of polka dots. I kind of like it. It's cute. I like the sparkle ones better. That one is like not intrusive. This one is a little too much. So this one doesn't have any, but I think I added like a little glow, like a white glow around this area. I don't know if you can see. In this category, this pink one is self-love and then i guess i'll walk you through the categories like this is self-love category the purple one is all about healing so this one is really honoring and acknowledging your wounds and this blue one is like connections this one is sort of for a momentum and inspiration so like this is this whole like all the categories kind of line up to create a journey for you or it kind of reflects my journey and what i went through oh my god i love this oh so this is just like on the sparkles like lining up with the white sparkles i forgive myself for the mistakes i made and i allow myself to ask for support when i need it um, definitely for those of us who develop hyper independence to survive <laughs> emotional neglect. <laughs> Here's another one. I allow myself to rest and recharge without feeling restless or guilty. For us, a perfectionist. Love these. Obsessed. And the fonts are pretty easy to read as well. I was really worried that it was going to be a little small, but this is a good size because it's like capitalized letters. So I am obsessed. Okay, next category. So we got connection i'm not gonna read all the quotes to you so this one is a prominent one your pain is real because you know if you suffer from gaslighting and narcissistic abuse really seek to erase your existence right sometimes they just kind of like question your ex uh, your pain they don't acknowledge your pain that is the worst kind of pain like having pain but not having your pain acknowledged is that you just feel invisible right forgive myself for being the person i've been in order to survive all the affirmations kind of have a little journey too like you can see kind of see the the thought process I did the best I could with the wisdom and awareness that I had at the time. So these are just all affirmations for um, your connection, connecting with other people, being in a relationship, trust issues, and things like that. Oh my god, I love these. This is gonna be so useful um, for myself. You know, originally I was like, I'm just gonna make a deck for myself, and then I'm just like, oh, if I'm making a deck, might as well make that available for everyone and share it with the world. So this category is all about inspo and like for momentum and giving you that motivation and pep talk that you need um, to really acknowledge your inner power. I rebel against systems of falsehoods that bind my freedom. I really love this. This is from my oppression wound. <laughs> yeah, I might get rid of the glow actually. I don't know. Like, do you like the glow or without a glow? It's very subtle. I don't know if you can see. As you can see, self-love aligning with your heart is a big theme in this deck because this is called an aligned heart. It's all about aligning with the love. This deck is all about affirming your existence and your heart, your emotions, your feelings. Something that a lot of us struggle with, especially if you're an empath, HSP, you know, like highly sensitive person. Oh wait, I just said that. Look, look how tiny it is. How cute. Oh my god. Okay, for the next two decks, I'm not- ah! Oh my god, let's open the other two. And I'm not gonna walk through the entire deck, I'm just gonna look at the different specs in there. Sample deck number two, that same thing. So all the cards are the same, edges are the same, holographic foil, silver holographic foil. I'm really into silver. I know a lot of you like gold, but silver is my gold. <laughs> so this is the same and, um, oh, what's the difference? Is this like a different, oh, this is different from the pictures I've seen. Wait, what's the difference? Wait. Is, is that different? Oh no, like that this is different. I thought it was the same. Oh my god, I did not know what I did. <laughs> oh, this one has more like a, of a sparkle. Very subtle. I don't know if you can see like here, like. I think this one has more of a texture to it. Let me open the 
the third one. Oh yeah, so this one is more like, it doesn't have any sparkles on it. This one's just a straight up silver, silver foil, I think. Oh, I like that. I also like, oh, I like all of them. OMG. The pastel is just delicious. These are all my favorite shades of pastels. I'm just like, if you look at my wardrobe, this is it. All right, so these are my sample decks. I, I need to like take a closer look because yeah, I, I thought they were going to be the same. I forgot I chose so many different variations. <laughs> I totally forgot. But this one reminds me of like those Asian stationery sticker stickers with holographic foil. Um, I'll have to take a closer look to decide which one is my final, final choice. But I'm so happy with how they turn out. I'm just like over the moon with these. Anyway, these, these are my sample decks and I hope you like them. I hope you're excited for them. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious. So yeah, until next time. Uh, make sure to follow my Instagram and subscribe to my newsletter to get news of the stack or when it launches and things like that. Everything's gonna be my on my Instagram. You'll know uh, there will be a date and everything, so you'll know what to when when it's coming out and what to do uh, and what like early bird offers there are, etc. All right, so here are my sample decks. Just pausing for like a thumbnail. <laughs> so excited! Okay.